Greetings and salutations all. In this short, we're going to be talking a lot about color themes and Positron, the new IDE by Posit for R and Python data science workflows. So first and foremost, Positron is basically a um, custom fork of VS Code, which means that any VS Code um, sort of themes uh, are valid inside of Positron if they are actually found inside of this open VSX registry which is the default marketplace for Positron. So inside of Positron, what we can very quickly do is we can look at all of the installed themes by using on a Mac command KT, uh, which uh, in essence finds here all of the color themes, um, again, that are installed. And we can use the up and down arrows to navigate the different options in the command palette that were exposed. So we can see going from the Positron light theme down to the Positron dark, um, uh, we basically have a gentle preview of what we can expect. If we want to select a new theme, just press enter, and lo and behold, that's now permanently set across all of your workspaces. So here, um, again, if we go back to using our keyboard shortcut to access color themes, which again is going to be on a Mac, command K T um, or control command, or sorry, control K T on Windows. Um, we can go up to this top option, which basically says browse additional color themes. If we go ahead and do this, what happens is we're allowing Positron to go out onto that open VSX uh, marketplace and pull down all of the themes that are available. So here, right, we can very quickly see, you know, different variants of uh, Abel Fu. Um, now, if a theme doesn't quite load, right, it will default back to what the current set theme is. So here, I think uh, Abel Fubu Darker Plus um, isn't really working with Positron for some way, similarly with Greenish because, well, you know, this theme is definitely not green. So you can keep going down by using the mouse, uh, or not the mouse, but the uh, down keyboard arrow to look at all of the different themes that are available. And again, once you find a theme that you might like, so here, let's say I'm interested in using that uh, cappuccino frappe, which is sort of like an interesting Starbucks drink, I can go ahead and press enter to select it. When I press enter to select it, basically I'm saying, let's go ahead and install this theme from the open VSX marketplace. Um, and Positron is going to make sure that I want to do that uh, by prompting me to say, are you sure you want to continue? And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. So on the left-hand side uh, where you see the extensions tab, notice how we now have the cappuccino theme that was gently installed. If I clear this search bar and I press enter, you can see again underneath the installed uh, portions, right? We now have uh, the uh, cappuccino um, theme for VS Code installed. Um, so that is a quick wrap in terms of how you can do different color themes that are already established. And if you're not great with keyboard shortcuts, um, the one keyboard shortcut that you should definitely uh, master is going to be pulling up just that command palette, which you can do with command shift P um, on uh, Mac. And if you're on Windows, that's going to be control shift P. And then what we want to say here is theme, and you can see all of the different theme options. Um, the shortcut that we were using, which was that command K T, on Mac or Control Command or Control KT on Windows basically was pulling us into this color theme menu. And you can sort of see once we jump into that color theme menu, right, we now sort of have uh, the cappuccini uh, themes that have been installed uh, along with the regular, in this case, Positron themes. So go ahead and try out different uh, themes and let me know in the comments below what theme you really like. Uh, again, here in, in my case, I think the frappe theme is, is, is pretty nice. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye now.